How much garbage do we make? Good work. Good morning. It is 7 o'clock on a Wednesday. I'm going to meet up with Eric at the yard and then we're going to head to the winter shop. Eric's going to start working on the New Holland, scuffing the paint and getting that ready. Maybe I'll get some primer on that today. We'll see what happens. And then I'm going to work on the form truck. I'm going to try to get one of the back toolboxes on. I need to figure out how to mount it so uh, if I ever do need to take it off, it's not a disaster like the last time. I should have did it different the last time, but you live and learn. So I already took the trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. I was wearing to win your tea. I just, I was just hollering at her. I'm like, yes, it's tea's made it like five times. <laughs> um, I definitely recommend two if you take some. Try to make sure that you were uh, set. I think you might lose it. You 508. <laughs> I have no idea what she was talking about. I never drink tea. <laughs> House blend only. I don't know if she had me mistaken for somebody else, but I don't know how you could. I literally have a camera on my head. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be one of those weird days today. We'll find out. I'm just pulling into the yard. It is 7.30. Eric's not due here until eight o'clock. So I have a little time before he gets here. And as soon as he gets here, we're going to take off and head to the winter shop. Eric just texted me right now. He said his truck won't start. I'm going to be late. All right. I wonder how late. Eric's here. What's up? What are you doing? The battery's draining? No. Yeah, because of the lights. Because of the emergency brake. It sends a signal to the truck that I'm braking, so the lights will be on. So oh. That's why I drained my battery. Why don't you just go get a new Duramax? Ooh, They're yeah. super nice. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> They're really nice, Eric. Man, I don't have money right now. 80000 Yeah. It's nothing for you. 80000 Yeah. That's a lot of bread. No. We're at Home Depot. I got to get a plastic scraper for that adhesive. Man, you were scraping up my brand new ski loader so bad with a screwdriver. Oh man. <laughs> I saw I that I on the video. You're, you're hitting a screwdriver with a hammer <laughs> against my paint. I was like, no, Eric, what are you doing? Yeah. What's coming out, bro? What are coming out that good? So, whenever the day comes that you buy a new skid loader, I'm coming over with a screwdriver and a hammer. I'm just telling you, what's fair is fair. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. What? I couldn't resist. I know. Eric ate his whole lunch already. It's not even 9 o'clock in the morning. Whole bag of chips, sandwich. You have one sandwich or two? Two sandwiches. Man. So you got to take this stuff. Here. Where are those lights? All right, Aaron. We need to plug these in. Grab an extension cord and bring it over here. You need light for this. So you got to get all the adhesive off. Oh, it comes right off. Oh, yeah, it softens it up good. But you got to scrape most of it off first. Otherwise, you're going to struggle. Because it doesn't just wipe right off. Mm -hmm. That looks like a big boogie. Mm, like one of them. Ooh. With uh, with dust and everything. <laughs> when you're throwing release. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> like exactly like that one. So once you get it mostly off, then you should be able to wipe it. See that? Yeah. And then once you're done with all the residue, then we'll start working on the yellow. I can just show you what you're going to do. Gonna use these Brillo pads uh -huh. or Scotch Bright pads, I should say. Yeah. And on all the yellow, see it has like a little sheen to it. Oh yeah. You know, you gotta get you go like this. You gotta get all the corners and edges, huh? In here too. You gotta get everything. Everything. All everything that's yellow, you gotta get, because okay. I'm gonna turn it all gray but the paint won't stick. 
if it's shiny like that. That's the deal. Some guy worked at a New Holland dealer mm -hmm. and he commented yesterday, he saw me taking all the stickers off. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sorry, man. Sorry. And then once it's all scuffed, then it all has to be wiped with cleaner and rags. So it's 100% super, super clean. I'm gonna turn the big heater on. It's gonna get loud in here. The compressor's gonna run and all that, but at least it'll be warm. All right, let's see what we got. And I don't even know if the boxes are the same exact size as the old ones. They're close. I know they're really close. I'm gonna open one up. I'll put one under here, jack it up with the floor jack, kind of position it, and then bring those verticals down. And then I'm gonna put some bar underneath the box. And then I'll bolt it from the bottom. got to put this on here All right, something like that like this and then we'll run a run a bar that way I got some grinding to do on these because these are I had to do all kinds of cutting and stuff on these I think it'll be fine it's gonna be easier than I thought yeah it should be good I'm just gonna work on all these uprights I'm going to have to get bolts because I hacked off all the bolts when I took the old box off. But yeah, I'm going to put these on the inside instead of on the outside like I did in the last ones. And then I'll just weld some more tube steel all the way across underneath. So I'm going to work on these, get these all cleaned back up because these are, these are messed up pretty bad. Gonna need that one too. I'm gonna have to cut this, cut that off of there. Did you finish that one already? Yes, sir. It's pretty easy, right? Oh yeah, with this gooey thing, yeah. What happened here though? Stop, right? <laughs> <laughs> I did that. I got this. Yeah. I got this. Yep. And then there's one in the front right here. Right here, here, and here. So I think what I'm gonna do is go get the bolts now. The goal today is Eric finished that and I get at least this one box mounted on here. I can't work a full day. I'm leaving early tomorrow morning and I have all my packing and everything to do. Back at Ace Hardware. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, and yourself? Good. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I don't know what I'm gonna use for underneath the box. I don't think I have any steel there. Mm, that's gonna be a problem. Maybe MacGyver has something, we'll have to look. Thank you. You're welcome, have a great day. I'm back and I got bolts. So now I'm gonna start cleaning these up and hang them. How's it going? Gotta get it all there, every 
crack and crevice. Oh, well, I'm taking the... That's it. All right. I'm going this way. I'm going to hit this, right? I really want to. Yeah, whatever you can reach. I'm going to clean these up some more with the grinding disc. There's one, and I'll just clean it up a little bit more with like a flap disc and then put some paint on it. I just grabbed the steel with my hand and I burned my palm right there. I should have been wearing gloves, but I just wanted to get started. That's gonna hurt later. You can see the color right there. Burns are no fun. The worst burn I ever had was when I was about, I don't know, maybe 10 years old. My dad just got home on his motorcycle and I thought it'd be cool to jump on and my knee pressed right up against the exhaust and it burned my kneecap really bad. That was some serious pain. So the first two fit, which is good. So I'm gonna clean the other two, make sure the back fits how it's supposed to, then I'll run and get some steel. I'll cut it, tack it on underneath here. That'll be a good job for Eric. I'll have Eric clean these all up. And then I'll run and get steel. And then by the time I get back, they should be ready. Yep, that's what we'll do. So I'll take these back off. Have Eric clean them up and paint them. You done scuffing that? Come over here, I'm gonna give you something else to do. I gotta run and get more of this steel. You gotta clean these up and paint them. So I'll take this one first. And just do this. Get all the rust off. You don't have to get you don't have to get it perfect perfect, okay? Once you got it all grown, yeah. then just take one of these. And you just wipe it with this stuff. Just put a little bit on the rag, like that. And then just clean it in you know, all four sides and that's ready for paint. If you finish that and they're all painted by the time you get back, you do the same thing with the rags and this, all the yellow paint, just wipe the whole thing down. I'm pulling up to Comet Welding. They usually have everything that I need. All right, Comet had everything I needed. It's a little thicker wall, but it'll work fine. They even cut it into sections for me so I could fit it in my pickup truck. They always treat me pretty good here. I came over here to my New Holland dealer to get some matching spray paint. And I noticed they have a trailer, a tilt deck, that's very similar to what I'm looking for. So I might talk to them about that. I did hear one concern and it is, you know, when it's wet, it can be slippery to get stuff up onto the deck. So I am a little bit concerned about that. But that looks like it might be a, a, six, a 16,000 pound trailer, the 8,000 pound axles just from the look of the wheels. I'll ask him. How's it going? How Good. Is Roly here? No, not yet. Helga? That trailer? Yeah. I came here for spray paint actually, but that trailer that's out there, is that a 16K? It is. Is it? It's sold. Is it? It is. But you can get more. Yes, sir. Hmm. How long is that one? You can get 20 or 22, I'm sure, right? Yeah, you got a 16 foot deck with a four foot fixed front, and then you got a two foot beaver tail. Are those good trailers? They're great trailers. They are? Yeah. I've been looking for those, and I've been driving by this whole time. 
It's been here. Right, I know, right down the street from me. <laughs> I've been driving by maybe the one that I want, way. Ryan. I've had three of them. Yeah? That's mine sitting back there by next to the forklift. That's okay. another one over there. Those are both B&Bs. Um, I had two other ones that... What do you mean B&B? This is a Benke? Yep. B &B is it the same Industries. thing? Yep, that's the same okay. company. Benke and Benke. Okay. So we call it B&B, they changed their name. Because I have seen the B&B. Yeah. So it's the same. I actually, I know the family that runs it. I've been down there a dozen times picking up trailers. Good it's people? A fam yes, they're a family owned company. They're great people. Well, and the nice thing about Banky is that, okay, you know it's a 16,000 pound trailer. Mm -hmm. You got all these other manufacturers out there. Mm -hmm. um, all the, and to me, they're cheaper. The reason why they're cheaper is because they're not tube built like this. Yeah. This is a tube built trailer. Yeah. It's not angle, it's not channel, It's and it's rigid i've hauled caterpillar 299s down to tennessee mm -hmm. on the back with my f-350 and the trailer don't you put it in you put it in a 14,000 pounder and all you see is this as you go down the road in yeah, the trailer yeah. the whole thing's flexing and moving so my only concern yeah. is i've never had a tilt deck so <laughs> how is it when it gets a little slick is it a so, nightmare or once you get traction on here, yeah. it's not a problem once you hit there. Right, right. No, I can weld something on there. That's that's easy. With the tilt deck, is that adjustable or is it already, like, depending on what kind of equipment you're putting it on? You mean or the putting speed? on it? Yeah, the speed at which it comes back. Completely adjustable. Okay. There is a valve over here on the side. Because obviously, if you're putting a mower on there, you got to tune it down a little bit, a lot. Well, the thing is, dude, is if you put it at the minimum, you can push this deck down with your By hand. By hand, okay. So all you do is, I mean, and you can lock it up, too. So here, comes up automatically. Huh. Now, let's say and giggles, oh, I want to keep it right there. Yep. Well, I turn this valve all the way closed. And it'll stop it. And you stop it. With there's a little bit of play in the pin, but yep. it'll still stop it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I just want a trailer that I can do anything with. Can you figure me out a price? Absolutely. All right. I mean, I just came here for spray paint, to be honest. <laughs> but then I seen that sitting here, I was like, man, that looks just like what I'm looking for. Yeah. I mean, I think that trailer, right? I know that one sold, but probably just the same one. Okay. Yeah, that's just a standard, dude. No upgrades. Yeah. You, know, you got the fork pockets that go all the way through. Yep. I mean, I can... You could get a toolbox for it if you wanted. Um, oh, yeah, that's true. That doesn't even have a bottom on in the front, does it? It does on the left side. It's got a bottom on the pan. But it does? But when you're talking about hauling... Because those, are, those are nice. Like toolboxes or something. <laughs> Throw binders or whatever. The toolboxes are like a $500 handle. Yeah, I think I prefer it with the toolbox, though. Okay. Yeah, that's for your 345. Case gray. Yeah, I same same color yeah all right thank you you bet what's that roly owes you the commission you sold it not him no no no. you're Rolly's customer he'll take care of you don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> um give me like six of those they are proud of this so they're uh, six of them is 131 dollars what kind of paint is this i said why is it so expensive <laughs> It's aerosol paint. Oh, you do not it's, get a stellar deal on it. It's high performance. Yes, that so, too. <laughs> it's high performance. That's why. That's really expensive for it spray is. paint. It is. It is very expensive. Yeah. Oh, you got one? Box. Oh, man. Even comes with a box. It's worth oh, it now. I've been looking for a trailer like that for weeks now. And then I pulled in here for the spray paint. I was like, hey, that's pretty much exactly what I've been looking for. I've been driving by it for weeks. Well, we've been waiting so long usually when they come here they're coming in and that's all yours sir You're all right set. thank you i thank put it you. on his desk i am calling all right sounds good thank you. Thank you. yeah you too thank you very much appreciate it man have a great day bye-bye they didn't say nine months did they so how much extra can you give me if i can get it in less than nine months <laughs> nine months come on <laughs> what did they say three weeks three weeks well, tell Rolly, give me his best price and write it up. Gotcha. Let's do it. Done deal. Yeah, for sure. Excellent. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yep. Have a great day. All right. Same one as out there, but with the toolbox. Same exact one. Yep. 
with a toolbox. That's it. That's it. Yep. All right. Thank you. You bet. Yep. Have see you. Day. Yep. All right. We got a trailer. That was very easy. And the price is good, man. It's a good price. I like what he said about being a family business. It's right up my alley. And three weeks, you can't beat that. We won't even be into our season in three weeks. That's perfect. All right, I'm just gonna get some primer and rattle cans. I know I'm gonna get criticized for using rattle cans, but I really don't care. I just wanna get it done. Hey there. Hi. Do you have a phone number for Is for Warts? I do not. You Thank are all you. set, sir. You bet. Have a great day. You as well. Thank you. Huh? Oh, to find me? You done with everything? Yeah. Good. Uh, grab those four pieces of metal out of the pickup truck. Just gonna do a real light coat of primer. And I'm not too worried about getting just a tiny bit of overspray on the gray because I'm painting with gray, so. I'm going really light on the primer too. It doesn't necessarily even need primer. I'm just putting it on so it sticks a little bit better. Eric, do you wanna take my truck and go get something to eat? Yeah. I knew you were gonna say yeah. <laughs> just bring me back something. Diet. Diet. Yeah. Thank you. The primer's on there. And again, not trying to get full coverage with the primer. I just put just a dusting of primer on just for better adhesion with the paint. It would have been nice, obviously, if I would have used automotive paint. It would have lasted a lot longer, been a lot stronger, but I just don't have the time right now and I wanna get this looking good. I'm gonna let that dry for a little while. I'm gonna start working on the box. I'm gonna cut this steel down and start putting this together. Eric's got these painted, so they're ready to go back on. It's dry enough to touch, so we're good. All right, they all went in pretty good. I'm actually gonna tighten these all down now. It goes 72 and an eighth. I'm gonna keep just a touch of a gap, so if we ever need to slide these out, we can. I don't want it wedged in there very, very tight. 72 and an eighth. We'll go with that. All right, that'll work. Just set it down. Is it up tight against the bottom of the box? Yes. Lined up, everything's good. You're ready to go. Whoa. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, there's a welder, Eric. It's supposed to hold it. <laughs> Woo! Dan's here. We are, Dan, we are. I got the hub off. Did that four work I made for you? Yeah, I had to use all the spacers. All the little? All four of them, just to be able to reach. Little chunks? Yeah. I figured you'd have to use quite a few of them. It worked, though. I thought you could have stuck a socket in between them, too. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. All 
All right, that's all welded and ready to go. Eric, take that grinder. See this right here? There's a little bubble of weld right there. Get that off, because that toolbox is going to catch on there. It's not going to slide in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see it. And then clean this, and then put some primer on it. Okay. The light gray, I have it over there, okay. and then paint it. Okay. And then really, this is done. We can't really mount it. The paint's going to be wet. Yeah, from underneath, four bolts from underneath. But not today, I'm in a rush. All right, I wanna paint this thing really, really fast. Two really quick coats and call it good. Bugs is on his way. I'm gonna go meet him. I gotta show him around all the plowing again. I've showed him a couple times, but I'm nervous and he's not comfortable, so. I feel better just showing them everything one more time before I leave tomorrow. This is gonna be a quick job. Oh, your paint job is better than mine? Oh, no. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, yours is really good, I mean. It's just spray paint. I'm not, I'm not being like, I'm not trying to be like, oh my God, I am. Dude, how do you do that? I painted things and... Runs all over the place? Oh, yeah, sir. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Eric. Yeah, yeah, you know. I haven't painted in a while, so maybe. When I was a little kid, when I was like 11, 12, mm -hmm. I used to take all my bicycles apart. I used to sand them all down, oh, prime yeah, them. Oh, I used to use spray cans on everything, all our mini bikes, go karts. I used to love it, man. That finish, look at that. That's pretty good for a spray can. Dude, Ryan, that thing is beautiful. <laughs> it's like now, now, not being a candy, but wow. It'll be all muddy anyway, who cares? No. Can't even see dirt on the tracks. <laughs> nope. nope. No dirt on the tracks. Put tires on the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, armor all, all the treads. You know whose factory colors I like? Yeah. Takuchi. Who's that? The red and the gray. The Japanese skid loaders? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are nice. Yeah, yeah, I heard they're really good. Skid, skid loaders, I've never tried one though. Right. If they bring me one, I'll try it. I seen, I see, yeah, I know who you're talking about, the red and the. Yep, the red and gray. Yeah. Those are nice colors. I heard a lot of good things, but I've never, never operated one. All right, first coat's done. I'm gonna go right into the second coat. Dude, I'm thinking about starting the car, right? Yeah? Yeah. I don't need it. I really don't need it. My opinion is you should have a better truck and no car. Yeah. If you want to get work done and make money. I mean, cars are fun if you already got all your trucks. Yeah, that's what that's You know. It's got to be bugs. If it is, that's a good timing. Bugs. Yeah. Hello. I'm on 76 in Capitol. I'll be there in a few minutes. All right. Well, I'll leave the winter shop. I'll meet you there. All right, thanks. Yep, bye. All right, Eric. Uh, go turn that thermostat to off. That was good timing because I just finished. Now I got to go meet Bugs real quick. That turned out really nice. Once he puts all the decals on there, the red, white, and blue, and victory style, and this and that, American flag. All right, Eric, we gotta go. 
So at least we got some stuff done today. That's all done, welded, painted. Just gotta slide the box on and bolt it from underneath. That's one side done. Oh, he's in the ski loader. He's ready already. Yeah, there's no snow in. And Jade's everywhere. Oh yeah, Jade's gonna be in the truck right now. Hi Jade, hi Jade. Go bite Eric. Oh. Go bite him. Oh. Bite him. <laughs> no, Jay, no. You gotta eat the chips. <laughs> Jay, come on. What are you doing? You're crazy. You're crazy. Thank you. Did you get that one figured out? No, I just gotta show me up. That's good. And now the one up there. One more to the right. Now it should be your right thumb. Perfect, that's all I need. Third yeah. switch. Yeah. I normally jump up on well, this I'm sidewalk. Do the sidewalks with the bucket first because the last time you did everything. Well, you can, but you can if you want to. I mean, I'm not responsible for the sidewalks, but then they do shove them back off. Right. This one I always get. So this one. This one. Turn right. Yep. Yeah. Three on the right, one on, one on the left. left. And then I gotta come back when the sidewalks are done and clear the driveways. When yeah, you know, usually. Well, I'm just checking something that's gotta be aware of. And then there's down here the gravel. This driveway road. goes all the way back. just back there to check. Yeah. One back there. Yep. Yeah, this one right here. Yep, the second one. So normally when I start the condos, yes. I normally I normally plow the street too. Right, otherwise I got Otherwise the city guy first. comes right in the morning, he so plows all of them As in. far as you plow it, how, where do you push it? Just off to the side? Yeah, I push. I usually push these across the street. Right. They don't want snow right in front of this planter. Okay. I don't know why. Whatever. They just said right don't put snow. Down, I can put snow. You know everything too now, Eric? Yeah, I got it. And then Locked there's a house. And this walk, this city walk goes yeah, all, all the way around. All the way around. And then this house down by the gas station. I burned my hand right there today. Oh, that's a <laughs> good one. See the dude. blister? I told you. I Brian know. said it wasn't that bad. Oh, I know it was bad when I grabbed it. It oh, sizzled. It's <laughs> out. Get it during the day. I'll do my job, man. All right, see you later. Have a safe trip. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you too. Thanks. So, he Bugs comes and loads that with salt? Yeah. Two and a half scoops will get everything easily. Two and a half buckets full. You just take the tarp off, dump it in, put the tarp back. It's real easy here. All right, see you. Have a nice trip. All right, Let thanks. You,